Okay, this is all camera. And this is not a spring chicken today. We have something we would love to review with you, which is an Acer computer. Yeah. And it is it actually yeah. looks like a netbook. It looks like a netbook, but it's it size like a netbook but acts like a computer. It, it's a, a full, laptop. It's actually a full blown okay. See this got awful big thing. You know, this my Toshiba, which I love because it's a three D computer. It actually I want to tell you something else. Guess what? What? This is a 3D computer also. And this is the Acer Aspire one. What is the exact model? It is model the um, Acer Aspire, um, uh, Acer Aspire one five seven five six series. And if you go, uh, if you go looking for, okay, this is the game changer. This is actually a consumer analysis thing right now. But this would be the game changer. This does everything this doesn't do, and this is a god awful great tablet. Well, I'll tell you how we ended up with this computer because part of it is we always love the netbooks, but with the Atom chip, they were never powerful enough. So basically, you were checking email. We have a tablet, this one happens to be the Motorola Zoom, and I absolutely love this. One of the challenges, though, on trying to read email off of a tablet is I can only go back so many emails. I can't do all those search capabilities on emails, but it's great. I can do photos, I can do videos, I can, and I can scroll and do th th things you and watch. Can't, you can't really edit video. Yes, you can't edit video. Um, I use it for navigation. So sometimes, like because we're doing work and we want to edit video, we want to do photos, something like this really fits the bill. Yeah, and it really, okay, we're going to tell you that if you could actually find this in stores, you're not finding it because often what happens is is that they would rather sell you, the companies would rather sell you this than sell you this. Well, and I'll give you an idea, like this one when I bought it, you're thinking, well, maybe I have a stripped down version. No, this is the most advanced one out on the market. It had 32 gigabytes of RAM already in here, or excuse me, of hard drive or, you know, memory. Yeah. And I added another 32. So this has 64 gigabytes in here. Yeah. So I can store data, we use 3D video. We use this in ways that people hadn't yeah. thought about using. That's we did, just basically just have 3D videos on it. When, okay. When I first bought this, this was like 400 and it was a 499, and then I added the extra chips. Yeah. Since then, it's changed to 399. But this one. Okay. This one was 256. Yes. And okay. we're talking 256 dollars. Uh, and it's uh, basically it's an Intel Celeron, uh, 1.40 gigahertz, 64-bit operating system, and um, it comes it comes with a two gigabyte uh, memory chip, but it's expandable to eight, and guess what we did for 50 some dollars? We expanded it to eight gigabytes. See this computer? This has six gigabytes in it. This little thing has eight gigabytes in it. Mm -hmm. See this computer? Mm -hmm. This computer is full of, of uh, editing software. This computer has exactly the same, they're matched up, they're totally mm -hmm. matched, except for the fact that this one has more memory in it and it's actually and um, and it's really got it's a little bit slower because this is a two two gigahertz and this is a one four but when you when you're out and you're wanting to do some editing or something well and you can do it with this you can't really do it with this thing. we also use our computers a little bit different than a lot of people do because a lot of people might be using it for pictures um, or documents but we're editing high def 3d video yeah so. and we're also editing um, two to at uh, two to six thousand pictures for you we're loading up at a time mm -hmm. when we're shooting an event but uh, like I said if okay if you could get this one you're first of all going to find out that all the specs in the stores are wrong mm -hmm. you uh, when we went to get the eight gigabyte chip the spec said was well, a Pentium computer and it uses two um, uh, no, two uh, chips to two, create two eight chips gigabytes. To create. Uh -uh. It uses one Why? chip. There's only one space to do it. So the specs are totally wrong about it. So we had to correct the person. He said, well, that's not supposed to be. But well, they also say on the website that the specs are subject to change without notification. The other part is it says on there that I think this computer is three and a half pounds. It is not. No, it's, it's actually it's, not any. It's, I think it's no, actually it's lighter than this one. I think are, this are is you lighter. Serious? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> pretty close. Yeah, but I think this is this is a little, you know, this has actually got, it's an 11 inch screen, but they measure it this And way. this, I'll give you an idea, this is, this one is 10.1 inch. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's got a case on it, so 10.1 yeah. inch tablet. Yeah, and this goes everywhere in the universe that we go, it's our, it is actually the heart and soul of what we're doing. It, if you could buy it, the, uh, this, 
this, I love this, this changes the whole battlefield right there. And what happens is, is Acer, I think, is abandoning, abandoning the, uh, the netbook type computer and, and to go to tablets now. Well, see, here's part of it is, I, here's what I love about this, is this is sized like a netbook and it performs like a laptop. Yeah. Um, Microsoft has a new Surface that's coming out, which yeah. is an ultra portable, which... But, okay, 256 $3,000. dollars $3,000. <laughs> oh my gosh! Who do, you so think, who do you think would win the market if Acer simply had the courage to go forth and turn these things out in a matter? But since if the decision has been made, they're going to abandon these and they're going to uh, and they're going to go to this. This is what you think. This is what, yeah. no, they basically that's the decision. I mean, that's okay. unfortunate because this, this is, if you can get one of these, get them now. This is like a total still because at 250, 256, I think we got it on sale, it's like 279 normally. Yeah. But and even by the time you add it to make it 8 gigabytes, it's a lot less than you, a lot of the laptops. You, that actually, are it's less than, you can't buy a tablet for the <laughs> price that we paid for this and upgrade it. <laughs> that's true. No, but uh, we, you know, we're going to end this sort of with which the people over at the Consumer Electronics Association will be unhappy with this, but you're supposed to be there for the customers, folks. There are times when businesses make decisions based upon profits versus over what the people well, really need. This this would win the market. This pure and simple know, I, would basically take the business from this. I think sometimes it's like they get into this like, oh my gosh, iPad is out, we have to have something to compete against. iPad, we have to be out in the tablet market. Yeah. Laptops are declining, PCs are declining, let's all move to tablets. But they forget the people that use the tablets still need a laptop. Okay. Been, okay. Yeah, okay. It doesn't, okay, a tablet does not replace a laptop, okay. period. Okay, <laughs> here's a tip. And why Windows 8 is not really enthralling a lot of people is because it's touch screen. People, okay, a lot of people like me have basically, age has damaged your hands and stuff. Mm -hmm. You, t okay, this is touch screen. This is a full-blown keyboard. You can play with the keyboard. Well, we can get you a, we can add a keyboard for $200. Well, yeah, but by the time you have a four hundred dollar tablet and add a keyboard for two hundred dollars, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, and this you know so, um, but uh, like you said, this this doesn't have okay, this has a drive a, a CD drive on it, this one doesn't, but God awful, it's got a printer connection, it's got the same everything on the all the peripheral stuff that the big computer has is on this little mm -hmm. thing, so. We're thinking you're getting okay. We're gonna we're gonna make a very analytic statement. You're getting a shaft, folks. The cons the computer companies are basically are they've got together decided whether the hell you want this or not. You're gonna get it when this here get that. outperforms. This is the deal. This is the deal. If you can get it, Best Buy has them hidden. But doesn't it depend on how you use your computer? Uh, most people don't use okay. The, here it is. If you're under 30, you're basically playing second screen with your with your tablet or your cell phone. If you're over 30, this basically, oh God, I mean, it, it's something that I can use. So most of the people in the universe are over 30. I hate to tell you this. Most of the people that actually buy this stuff are over 30. And so, uh, like I said, in conclusion, this is what you, this would sell if they put it on the market. It would beat the tablets, it would beat the hell out of the tablets. Well, oh, there's it no, it says, well, there's no, there's no apps for this. Well, yes, there is. Oh, yeah. You can get apps. Intel is now producing apps for computers, mm -hmm. which basically allow you to do virtually the same thing that you can do over here. There's not as many of them, but hey, you know the difference between an Apple and an Android system? Right. Is that the Apple has only got one, one type, so, they basically, and one operating system, so everything is real simple. This has got god awful amount of operating systems, even though it's an uh, Android. They don't have, they have a problem designing apps. Uh, this thing is Intel, folks. Well, the other part they, is, I know a lot of you are in love with apps, and apps are great, but you know what apps are? They're shortcuts. They're shortcuts. <laughs> you know, so you put the icon on the front of the desktop. You put shortcut. them on, you can, okay. This one, you would not believe how much crap is on this one. You know, they used to be called wikis. You know, you know they, they were apps. That, no, they were, there were shortcuts. Then they were wikis. And then there's this and that. But you can cover your computer screen with the stuff. Oh, and the other part is startup time. How fast does it take to start this thing up? Uh, this starts up. Uh, okay, 
uh, compared, this is this is really actually. Good. Here's the funny part. This of, starts faster it starts than this. It also because, starts faster than that one. Oh, I'm faster than that one. Yeah, a lot. Uh, and uh, what we'll do is when we go in, we'll go into McDonald's to work or something, and I'll set, I'll start both, can, both. I'll start this up and this up at the same time. I'm on the internet connected before we ever get through the opening on this mm -hmm. thing. So. You know, if you got the opportunity, this is advice from people that are on your site. Buy this thing. It's buy Acer yeah. Aspire One. It's the one. It's the seven five six chip. series, and it is the it is the one with the Celeron. The one that you basically buy it, and you ask specifically if it can be upgraded to eight gigabytes because you want, you want the eight gigabytes, and it's not. I mean, it, okay, I'm going to close the thing. Uh, all I did was take off this piece here. I, I, I screwed it, popped it free, and then put the no, chip put in. It, I'll show the size comparison. Okay, see. Okay, so yeah. when you look at that, see, see the difference? I mean, it's virtually almost the same. It's and, a little bit bigger, but not much. And all of those things that you hate about the tablets, I'm looking if you could see. A, oh, oh uh, you got all those USB you, ports. You got all the USB, you got a printer port, you got every type of port you can believe under the universe on this thing, so. Oh, I have a microphone. Yeah. Yes. No, there is. Just got a microphone here. This earphone. is a microphone jack. It's this got one, a microphone This one does have a, an SD card. Well, actually, there's a lot of tablets that you can't yeah. add memory to. You know, it's I just got, whatever I can, you buy it with. I can do Ethernet off of it, too. Yeah. And Wi Fi. It's actually, so I actually do have this one sold to folks. And it can't, they basically do allow these. It, you can get the, the peripheral stuff to allow you to Bluetooth. That's how you can go from one thing to another. So it, well, next time we find something that you think you should have, and are being screwed by the people in the industry. I'm going to tell you. No, this is what it is. There's there's more to being a consumer analyst than simply kissing the backsides of the people. That, okay, the Consumer Electronics Association is there to support the industry. How do you support the industry? You make certain that the consumers get what the consumers want, not what you think they should have. Mm -hmm. And that's how you. It, it always puts us on the wrong side of the. Well, what's it, so sometimes manufacturers, they're guessing what the consumers might like, or they're looking at trends as to what they think they might like. Yeah. And so sometimes, oh, I don't know, sometimes it's kind of difficult to predict what somebody will like. We have asked, Just ask any male. Yeah. We have <laughs> been to a lot of events. Uh, you know, we're still going on really long. She should have done this, but we're thinking that basically what you do is you get in the editing rooms. We've got so you'll get to see some of this. But um, what happened, we have been to events where they have actually said, um, we have done extensive surveys and we find that the only thing that women are interested in when they go shopping is, is bling. And therefore, we have got a nice shiny, okay, we were supposed to have one of these by, um, uh, was, it, was it Asus or somebody? Well, you know, they were supposed to have a whole bunch of these things, some with bamboo, some with silver. And, uh, and uh, but, you know, the silver, stainless steel, you know, they give you a stainless steel one to use, which I think we we used to have one, we sort of destroyed that one. But uh, we did it on, we did it on camera. We, did, we cut it up because we couldn't get the time out. But but, um, but you don't want to see what the women in the room, when the head of the company said, women only buy products because of the bling connected with them. Mm -hmm. That was not a good thing. And then um, uh, a lot of people like we went to we go to an event where they're debuting a product, but we know it's never going to see the light of day. We know it, and yet they're doing this god awful beautiful event. Oh, we got see that thing. We got that to go to one of the things. So they, they give it to this to go to the Microsoft Surface thing, which everybody in the building knew was never going to see the light of day. You know, I know people working at the factory for Microsoft in Taiwan. They said, well, I don't know what the hell the thing coming out. Mm -hmm. So, but they, uh, but that's the trick. Um, we we do know. I can tell you right now. Here's a, here's a news tip. Honda and Toshiba are getting together to work on something together. How do I know? <laughs> the Honda company sent me the press release this morning. So I can, that's a tip. So I can tell you they're working on it. They're working on a community, a community together. Honda and Honda Corporate. Honda is more than, than automobiles. Yeah, Honda is all huge. kinds of peripheral stuff. And Toshiba is more. Then computers, Toshiba is televisions, Toshiba is this, Toshiba is that. So there are two great big companies getting together to produce something that's going to be exciting. Actually, that's really good because both companies, Honda as well as Toshiba, are make, are, make products that are workhorses. Yeah. So, well, I mean, this one, uh, this is my second Toshiba. My first Toshiba, which somebody 
uh, sort of broke my broke the thing here. So I you mean I dropped it? She dropped it, so I taped it, and I had to tape it up. It still functions. It's got it got a forty gigabyte. I know that's. I mean, it's got a, what is it? A, a sixty gigabyte hard drive on it. So old, but it still functions, and it's basically because it's an old operating system. It means okay. Here's the problem with um, this. This this uses software on it that this one won't use. Because it's just okay. This one go. This one can be balanced to an eight, which I probably will do the next week or so. And this one can't without. This one got to cost you two hundred bucks or something. This one I get it for fourteen dollars from the company. But um, but uh, it just it, like I said. Often things are done not in the best interest of the consumer, but because well, you know if uh, if we do it. Okay, three. Okay, HD TV was not done in the best interest of the consumer. It was done in the. It was done specifically so the United States government could sell the spectrum that the stations were on before. People basically downsized their television because they couldn't afford to pay for all the TV sets they used to have. This nobody's buying the television sets. Flat. Those things are dead on the market. Go to any go to business, any business and they'll tell you. And because they put the interest of. They put an interest above the consumer and said, well, they'll get used to it. Um, <laughs> Blu-rays. I'll give you another tip. That was this morning. They said that um, uh, 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 a lot of the people are doing what they're doing to kill DVDs, which means the Blu-ray. Oh, that this, this, this also, this one plays Blu-ray too. So. Oh, that is the one thing. Is This does not have a, it doesn't DVD, have a, DVD a CD or, or a CD DVD or DVD player. player. But you can plug one in because, uh, wait, wait a second. I'm going to vanish over here. Oh. Uh, so we just happen to have. Okay, why don't you just plug one of these into the side of that unit, and then you can. I know, and I know that one looks kind of large. It's a DVD player burner, it does, and it does actually a lot of different. It things. does many more things. It also does it does uh, pictures and stuff, so it's a bigger Cause, unit. Because you can get an ex external to CD slash DVD driver that's really kind of small. Yeah, but we did this because we were we needed to do stuff real quick out on the. Out and on the field, you the can field, plug so. it right into your so, your but, uh, uh, camcorder. So, like I said, with 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 that, it becomes that, and that is eight hundred dollars. When you can get it on sale, this one was a couple of hundred, I think. So and now, I think you can buy an external CD DVD player for like about $50 yeah, now. 50 yeah, 50 bucks. But, um, so... That one just happens to do a lot. So, so, so you know, you can buy a DVD, you know, like it had 50 bucks, you got 350 involved in this thing, 800 in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not as fast, so it takes you another 10 minutes to process a 3D video. In high def. In high def. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, but I don't think there's actually that many people producing like 10, 15 minute I know, but videos. You're never going to be able to do it on this because there are really no video adding apps that are worth a darn for these yeah. things. None. Uh, you'll have to go, as we understand, we were at the Surface thing. The Surface is going to run like 3,000. They said it will be competitive to the, I've never seen a $3,000 one of these. I have. I have, I have it. I know. They're nice. She basically no, said a different the, circle. Have See, you seen the HPs? It's like they look pretty and they look they're sleek and I know. You know, they do all these fast things. But, um, but yeah. the ultra portables, if you take the same one, I mean, they're more expensive because they're really slim. Because, uh, but I mean, it just it will do complete graph. It will it will compete. This is you know like I said, it's not as not as big as this one, but it is a little faster because. It, it's got a 2.2 two and this has got a 1.4. But I've discovered that basically, um, there's very, okay, I have, a, I have a video, I have a video recorder, I have a video editor on this that will not work on these things. Remember our, uh, our, our the brand new 5 we got? Mm -hmm. That will not, com it will not completely function on any of our new laptops, but boy does it really work well on this thing. You know, so yeah, it does everything. You know, one of the time lapse for talk, time lapse videos done. Oh, it works, maybe. Yeah. That the Shiva, the HP over in the, we got we have an even bigger one over in the corner. We got god awful big base station over in the corner. So you, you get to see what we got. But uh, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna stand up for the consumer, and it always dances. We get into trouble every time we do it. But so until next time, this is all. Okay. And this is not a spring chick, and we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. 
and more information. You can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or www.mbnnewsvideo.com, which is where basically the it is the commercial. The one site is non is really not commercial. The other site is commercial. And wherever you're watching, us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and thank you once again for over 250 million links. On the